Hello everyone. I just wanted to uh, put together a quick video to show off my uh, new uh, the the prototype um, public key cryptography door opener uh, that I am working on for the house. And so what we have here is uh, so it's getting it's getting its power through this uh, power over Ethernet injector, and uh, we have the power going to this um, kind of Hack together uh, 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 splitter, and then that goes to the uh, Pi, and we have uh, the power split there. Going part of it going to this USB uh, power, and the other part going to the relay, and then the, to the door strike. So uh, the idea is that you uh, hold up key, like a card or, or whatnot, to the device and it opens the door. And it didn't open the door that time because it didn't like this card. The real card to do it is uh, my YubiKey, specifically my YubiKey Neo. Now this device is uh, what, what kind of got me thinking about this is thinking, well, you know, the U.S. government, what does the U.S. government use for uh, card key access? And it turns out they use their own thing. It's called PIV. And uh, PIV is uh, actually uses public key cryptography for all of this stuff. So I was like, well, if there's a PIV applet on here, why can't I use that for access control for my house? And so that's exactly what I'm doing here. Although it takes a little bit longer than I would like to. And now it's I'm just locked it back up. It's uh, it's actually usable at this point. So the idea is that there is a certificate authority that issued the key that is on this uh, token and uh, more specifically it issued the certificate for the key that's on this token and uh, the Raspberry Pi has software that when I hold this up to the sensor it grabs the certificate checks to see if it's actually was issued from the certificate authority for this uh, door and if it is it will go ahead and uh, and it's not on the revocation lists or any of the other uh, of those other checks. It will go ahead and open the door. Now at the moment, this is using the RSA uh, um, RSA key, which is kind of slow. I want to switch it over to using the ECC key, um, which I had working a bit ago, but it stopped working, so I'm using this other thing. Uh, so I'm using the RSA at the moment. But the ECC stuff is uh, is is considerably faster um, and also I'm transferring a lot of certificates here that I don't need to be so there's still a lot of room for improvement and eventually it's going to use um, it's going to be uh, a bit more flexible in the sense that you can have uh, uh, inside of the certificate which could either be on the key or it could be you know, distributed to the devices and it just cross-references the key for that certificate would actually have information like what days of the week, what time of day is this person allowed to, to be let in or, or not. And also like, you know, check revocation lists and all that stuff so that it can uh, be fairly secure. Now, don't get me wrong, this is all kind of hobby stuff, but um, yeah, it seems it seems a lot better than that um, that HID stuff that they use at work all the time. Uh, I think this will be uh, probably less likely to be copied. So anyway, there's my uh, physical access control system that I'm developing, and uh, hopefully I'll have it in the door in uh, in a week or two. Thanks for watching.